zero to zero two, and then you've got every minute clock and opening title sequence. So that's how you had to log tapes in tray one to six, and then 0528 to 0557 cutaway of the camera, 0557 to 1224 more, whatever it is. So you have to, you know, you had to log by the time, what does it say there? Uh, yeah, the time, the minute, the frame, hours, minutes, seconds and frames. And it had to be logged in detail like that so that you could find something if you needed it. So you had a good record of what, what was what and where things were. For the beaters, you kept it around the tape. So you'd put your paperwork in, the, in with the tape. So when you opened that tape, the paperwork of what was on that, and if it was a 10 minute music tape, it would only be quite a short log sheet. It wouldn't be a long log sheet like this, but that was kept around the tape. Yeah, so that when you opened the tape, it was in there. But these were not stored. Once your barcode label is what was on, you weren't keeping the box. You were just keeping it like this on the on the racking, and you pull it, put it in your box in the right order that is going to be played every hour, box per hour for 24 hours, into the suite, in the beta cart, played on air by the transmission guys back out in the box, sometimes in an order, sometimes not, and then you refiled it all back into the library and so it went on. So fastidious organisation, that's what I would say really about the library.